Leslie and Bontero. Thank you so much for being here and for letting me read for you. We are doing a reading for April's love messages and predictions. So this is what's coming up this April, what's in store for you in regards to love. Um, yeah, maybe there'll be some other things about like work or life, but really things tend to focus on love and relationships around here. So um, yeah, I'm going to tell you your four crystal cards. We've got well, I'll zoom in on these for you, um, just so you can get a better look. So we've got cry, chrysoprase, chrysoprase, redondite, aquamarine, and um, redocracy. So kind of a green pink theme that I chose. Um, okay, yeah, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Pick your card and um, find your timestamp, and I look forward to reading for you. Thank you. Goodbye. Leighton Bontero, thank you so much for being here. It means everything. Um, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. If it's something you're open to or comfortable doing, I would love it. I desperately need the subscriptions. But okay, moving on. Um, thank you. And you are here because you are letting me read for you for. April's love messages and predictions. What's coming up this April in terms of your love life? What? I don't know anything. Good, good news. Um, words of warning. I don't know, but, um, we are going to jump right into it. You are here for Chris, Chrysoprase. There's something about that word that's tricky, but it's like jade and gold. It's very beautiful. It's like, you can almost see into it. Um, so this I hope is a very, very lovely message coming up for you. Okay. Um, I, April's a good month. It's just like you feel like you're officially into spring. Things are happening. It's exciting. Um, I want to just, I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to work down and see like, what do we, what do we see in April for you? Um, okay. That was not upside down. So we've got the hermit, the lovers, and, um, judgment. So three major cards very interesting all very strong cards like all major cards are so no surprise there um okay i so i love the lovers of course um judgment and the hermit what do we make of this just looking at this what april has in store for you i do think there's there's a kind of a love coming your way um and i'm not just saying this because it's like something to say but I think this love that's coming your way, it's almost like it's going to emerge when you kind of um, come out of, I don't want to say you're in a funk right now, but I want to say that you've been sort of contemplative. Maybe you've been pensive. Maybe you've been a little more guarded. And I just feel like because of this, you're left, um, I almost feel like you've just, I don't want to say you've been hard on yourself, but with the judgment card, I actually think that you've been thinking a lot about maybe your own decisions, your own choices. I think of choice a lot when I see the lover's card. And I think that whatever decisions you've made, choices you made, um, they've led you to something that is going to reveal a, a, a union of some sorts in April. Um, and I do think that I don't know that you'll fully be out of this kind of hermit phase that you've been in. Um, and by hermit, it doesn't necessarily mean you've been cooped in your house or that you've been completely antisocial. It, it can mean that, but I think it really means like you've been, yeah, you've just been in your head. You've been in your thoughts and probably more than someone like you is accustomed to. Um, maybe you've taken a break from like online dating or from engaging with someone that you're interested in. Maybe you've just like kind of put things on pause and that's what makes me think you're going to, you're going to come out of this a little bit and you're going to be ready for whatever you're going to get hit with. And I do think there's going to be something coming your way. Um, and this, this something that's coming your way, it might even be something that you actually would like to come your way. Like something, you know, like if you're hearing this, you might be thinking, Oh, I hope it's this, or I hope it's that person. And there's just something in these cards which are so strong and actually so positive that makes me think, yes, if you have someone that jumps to mind right now, then I do think that is the person that probably is going to appear in April and in a, in a positive and exciting kind of here we are to start a relationship or to start something way. Um, and the judgment card makes me think there, this is why I think you've known the person there's, there's, 
I think you've thought about this before. There's been, there's been talk about it. There's been contemplation of this. You've analyzed this. There's something in this situation that isn't brand new. I don't think you're going to meet someone necessarily like in line at the grocery store. I feel like you're actually going to unite with someone that you would like to, um, be with or get to know. I mean, there's different levels of that, but I just see that coming up for you in April. And I do think that it's, I think it's been good that you've taken this time. Um, and I, as a result of that, I think you see things differently. I think you have asked yourself maybe some tough, tough questions. I think you have this part of you that thinks you're going to start doing things a little bit differently. Um, maybe in regards to a lot of things, but just as far as like love and relationships go, I get the feeling that you're thinking, I'm going to approach this, this just differently within, not like in a fresh and exciting way necessarily, but in a more balanced way, a more stable way, or maybe you have like old patterns or habits that you know, you've been kind of, um, trying to not bring into every relationship. And you're going to, I think this is going to be an opportunity for you to, to stop that. So I definitely see positive excitement um, coming your way in regards to love and relationships. So let's get a little bit more um, about um, you. I want to get you right now and you in April because I there's something very, um, yeah. So let's get you right now and let's get you coming up in April. So, and there's nothing wrong with you right now. It's not that you need work. I think this is just the natural kind of evolution of the year for you. So right now um, we see West and the word that goes with this is completion. And I think this is kind of like how, you know, you conquer the West was a place to be conquered. It was a place to be, um, you know, they came, they saw, they conquered the West and it's, it's been done. And I, I feel like maybe, and this, this works with you putting in the work, this works with <laughs> you meditating on these things to yourself and really actively trying to do things differently. Um, and I actually think you've conquered it. And this, it, this just tracks with what I just said in, in kind of a refreshing way, because I think you even know like something to do with new beginnings, changes, spring, and it's not like just April 1st, everything's going to change. But I think a lot of it has to do with the seasons too. Like we're out of spring. April is really like that full month of, of, or pardon me, we're out of winter and April is like that full month of spring. You know, you can really start to see the leaves on the trees. There's just a lot happening. And I think whatever you've been trying to just manage in your own head, um, like I said, whatever habits, whatever thoughts, whatever little incidentals, minutia, whatever it is, you've been working on it. You've been thinking about it and you've been like, um, yeah, like asking yourself tough questions. And I think you're done with that for now. You can always go back to that. You can always continue your work. But I think this big project, you can feel it. It's like, okay, I did a lot. I accomplished a lot. Um, and maybe it was kind of like a winter thing. Maybe it crept on around the holidays and you felt this weight. And now it's just like springs here and you're really ready to shed this heaviness that you've been carrying and kind of come out of your shell and have fun. And maybe this is maybe you're finally ready to link up with this one person that, I don't know, um, we could, they, they may, if, I don't know, maybe they disappeared around the holidays or maybe when winter came, they were so busy and now they're back or whatever. But I just feel like there's this emergence, this person's back and now you get to make a choice. Like, do you want, do you want to pursue this? And my gut tells me you are going to want to pursue it. Um, and I think you're in a better place now to pursue it than ever before. Um, and so then you right here, we've got cleansing, storms cleansing and the storms are i mean i love storms like i love electrical storms i love i don't love wind but i love that like rain electrical um and even when it's like really windy sometimes there's just that like sense of like ooh, things are happening they're getting shook up there's like an actual electricity in the air that you can feel um and i just think that's what storms do they bring about this change and they bring about this new excitement these fresh starts they can demolish old things um don't know that they create anything except maybe this vastness or this emptiness to kind of start fresh. But that really is like, this is cleansing is kind of the theme I think of April. And, um, this is great. I don't think it's this cleansing where you're like going to, you know, stop drinking for half the year or something. I don't think it's that like literal of a cleansing. I think it's much more of this, like, um, just mental cleansing. This just taking stock of all the the kind of like nonsense that goes on in your head and really trying to um, 
just make things cleaner and more concise for you, for your relationships, for your friends, for your family, whatever it is, just for you, for your peace of mind. So I, I like this and I like that you've accomplished something up here. You knew you had to, you have put the work in, you've put the time in good for you. So we see Love on the horizon for you in April, which is always, always exciting. Um, let's get a little bit more about what this kind of, I want to know a little bit more about this, this person, this dynamic. So we've got um, seven of pentacles and um, six of pentacles for this, this person. So just having two pentacles cards come up, which is funny, a six and a seven, you would think I didn't, you would think I never shuffle these cards. Like I just put them in order every time and lay them out, but that's not the case. Um, but this is definitely, so the pentacles are like, this is a more balanced person. This is someone who is probably more into like a, a sure thing, a steady thing, like a real relationship, a real connection. Someone who's going to want to like have you over to cook dinner. Like it's just, there's, there's less of a, kind of like fuck boy vibe that I would get off of someone who I just had two pentacle cards come up for. Um, and one of them, the six of pentacles being like charity and giving at the very least, it's like this kindness, this record, not so much recognition, but like them recognizing that they need to give back or acknowledge things or just, um, it, there's just a good, good vibe I get off this person, off their energy and probably even their intentions. If these are the two cards I'm going to pull up and seven of pentacles, I just, that's like basically making investments that is putting the time and putting the effort in working hard. So in terms of relationship, this is fantastic in terms of anything. It's fantastic. I mean, if we, if we look at this as where your person could be like professionally, then yeah, they're putting in hard work and it's going to pay off. If it's in regards to you in a relationship, again, they've put the work in and it's finally going to pay off. And maybe there is a bit of that. Maybe this person has actually been pursuing, pursuing you, or they've been checking in. Maybe they've been even in the forefront of your life, but just not like romantically or physically in that way. So maybe now you're finally ready for this person. You're done, you know, you're done beating yourself up or being so hard on yourself or putting these kind of like restrictions or limitations on yourself. You're finally ready to enjoy. It's almost like you've cut yourself off from enjoyment, um, which is fine. I get that. It's kind of like, it's kind of, I mean, I don't know much about Lent, but it's I, to me, it just, I got that Lent just came into my head where you would, you know, um, deny yourself something that you really enjoy um, I know there's a much deeper meaning behind Lent, but in a, in a few words, so that you appreciate it more when you have it. Um, so yes, this person seems just not just lovely, but genuine. I'm going to say this seems like a very genuine connection. Um, and I want to know, um, what, what, like what this relationship's going to look like for you guys. So I'm going to put down three cards on that and, um, then we'll get a little bit about your person. So we've got five of swords five of pentacles, interesting, and nine of swords. So <laughs> this is um, three very, well, some, some heavy cards. Okay, so we asked, what does this relationship look like? What's coming up for you guys? Um, I will say these, these, <laughs> these aren't the cards that I would have expected to have turned over, but I have to, I just have to look at the context here because I just pulled over these cards to show that your person seems solid. They seem good. They seem true. They seem sincere. And you've put in the work, you've put in the time, like everything about this reading is very positive. So I can't look at these cards and do a 180. I'm going to have to say what I think I'm going to take these like almost in reverse. Like I actually think with this relationship coming up, I think you're going to see that like you aren't, I'm taking the reverse meanings of this cards, meaning like you're not, um, you're not on your own, right? You're not defeated. You're not, this is like you, you, this is kind of like your reward. This is you, things are paying off for you right now. Um, and you, you deserve this. You earn this. You haven't taken anything that isn't yours. You, you literally worked hard for this. You put the time in. And I, I really think that like, maybe if you had rushed into this, or maybe if this, if you didn't put all this work in, sure, this might have a, this, this relationship might play out a little bit differently, but I honestly think that like, this is a, this is a big win for you, both, um, 
mentally, physically, everything. Like you've, you're really winning with this. Um, this just who you are. I, I just think you've, you've accomplished a lot. Um, and you aren't, you're not down anymore. You're in a very, very good place. You're lifted. You're lit. Like things are happening. You're active. Your mind is working and you're just, you're going through a lot. And I, I really, I like that. Um, five of pentacles. This is also a very hard card. Fives are generally hard cards. So, um, I don't know why they came up for you in this manner, but again, I, I can feel tapped into readings and I really don't see these as being negative. So I truly am taking the flip of them. Um, so for five of pentacles, this is like the reverse of this card would be, um, I think it's like, you're not, you're not in the dark anymore. You have, you have options. You have people who love you. You have places you can turn. You have like nourishment you can get in so many different ways. You're not hungry or in need of anything. And by hungry, I don't mean like hungry for food. I mean, hungry for whatever it is, information, truth, um, someone, a person like, but you're not, you're not in want or in lack anymore. And I really think that this, this, this connection or having someone, this person come into your life and starting something with them is really going to show you like, I've come a long way and I, I'm not lacking something anymore. Um, and it's not to say like it takes this person to get there, but my point is you've done so much work on your own that I do think the arrival of this person or you finally being ready to like receive them in a certain way is going to just like be like the cherry on top of all the work you've actually done. Um, you would have this the good meaning of all these cards, uh, regardless. But I just want you to know that this is what I, um, this is what I think. And nine of swords, if you've been anxious, if you've been stressed, if you've had nightmares, um, I just don't see it. I don't, I, I see a lot of that alleviating. Um, I just see you really just being calm and happy with this person. I think you're going to enter a really good, um, good place with them. I think you're going to like learn a lot from each other. I think it's going to be someone that you can mentally connect with and get very like in tune with mentally. I just, um, I see good things, but I have to pull more to like offset this because I can explain the positives, but I still see this here. And I'm like, why is this, you know, why is this here? But I really am taking it as like you, I guess I can say, I didn't see before maybe how dark things were for you or how much struggle you went through. And maybe a lot of this is why you were the hermit. Maybe a lot of this is why you were judging yourself. And maybe in relationships, you do tend to beat yourself up. You do tend to get very anxious. You do tend to think that like everyone's cheating on you or everyone's conspiring against you or whatever. And this is like also a warning to probably be like, don't do it this time around. There's no need for it. Like the people that you are choosing to surround yourself with are truly people that like love you and care about you. And these are your resources. They're there for you. And whoever this person is, that's entering your life. I really see it as being like a positive boon to you and to them and to this a re potential relationship. If you want it, a connection, whatever you want. So, um, okay. And I want to get kind of what's like your vibe going to be in April. What are you, um, What's really going to be like alive for you? And these are like my chakra cards. Um, again, I hope I'm using them right. I, I might not be, but I, I tend to get a pretty good message off of them. So I want to know what, um, where are you going to be like in this kind of chakra balance area in April? And so we've got cleanse in blue and we've got rejection in kind of orange. And I'm going to, there's no bad, there's no bad message here. It's, it's um, so for blue, I would say blue to me is like your kind of throat chakra moving up into your third eye. But this is like, you're really going to, I think in expressing yourself with words in speaking and in just using your voice, I think you're really going to find a lot of relief and a lot of cleansing, um, like mental cleansing power energy. I just... And it's funny because these are similar. I don't know. There's something about these images that are very similar to me. Um, how do I explain this? I just don't think you've used your voice a lot lately. I think maybe you have 
not spoken up when you need to. Maybe you've been kind of a doormat. Whatever it is, I think you've had a hard time expressing yourself with words. Maybe more specifically in relationships or maybe just in general, this is an area you don't excel in. Um, But I really think coming into April, you're going to find a lot of... um, power with your voice. And if this is a relationship or a dynamic you find yourself in, I think you're really going to find yourself speaking up. And with that, like this is going to alleviate a lot of the anxiety that you've been feeling a lot of that, like unknown it's, you're not going to have this sense of unknown because you're going to ask the questions. You're going to be direct. You're going to say what's on your mind. You're just really leaning into this. And I, I think this is new for you. Um, and I think it's a lot of what you've been working on. I think a lot of the work you've been doing is probably it's around confidence in a way, but less directly, like not the confidence to, you know, look in the mirror and like what you see or the confidence to apply for the job. I think it's the confidence to just speak your mind, speak your truth, speak up. Um, yeah. And with that, the fear of rejection, I really feel you are working dramatically on this fear of rejection, I don't think you have the same fear anymore. And if you didn't know that, then, or like, if you've wondered, I'm going to tell you this card is here to say, like, you are getting very, very confident, very strong, very, um, secure in who you are. And this, this orangish red color, it starts, um, there's some orange and red in here. It's, it's a mixture of orange and red. I'm going to call it orange, but this to me is like, um, this is your soul. Um, your um, sacral chakra, which is a lot to do with like your hormones, your sex organs, kind of that, that sense of like, just how you would maybe, yeah, like physically connect with someone and all the, the mental torment that can go along with that one way or the other, but so much more than just that, but I don't know enough about the chakras to elaborate. But when I think of rejection, I think of like, either you would be physical with someone and then you would not maybe have the connection you wanted with them and that feeling of rejection based on like that physical connection leading um, the relationship and not meeting expectations or something along those lines or just rejection in general, just that feeling that like, oh, they don't like me because, or they're not going to like me because, or I'm not this enough, I'm too much of this, whatever. But I think a lot of it to me has to do with like how we, how we feel we look, how we feel we measure up to this like, feminine or masculine like standard um just kind of going back to those like quintessential this is how a woman should look a man should look and like anyway this if there's any fear of rejection around this it's it's not with you anymore you've done the work you're not tripping off of these details um you're very you're just you're a lot stronger and i really think that this person is um someone that you're going to enjoy the company of and grow with. And I think they're just, I think they're solid. I think they're confident. Um, and I really think that these cards came up as a warning, like, look, you don't want to go back to these, these, um, energies in a relationship. And I really don't think you're going to because of the work you've done. And because I think that this person, um, probably, but even take this person out of it, it's you really. I mean, you might not meet someone in April. I can't say that you're going to, it's just what I predict in these cards. But regardless, I would be very, very confident in everything else I've said about you being this new kind of just confident, secure version of yourself that is much, much more confident in speaking up, much less afraid to use their voice and just doesn't fear the rejection, doesn't care if someone looks at them and is like, "Mm, you're not my type. Like this, you don't care. It will not keep you up at night. It won't make you feel that you've been like, you know, just defeated or anything. It's just not with you anymore. So yeah, I want to commend you on the work you've done because I think you've done a lot. And as I turn the cards over, I kind of see that. Um, and I think April is going to be like a true kickoff to a wonderful spring and then spring turns into summer and that's amazing. And then, you know, it all starts over again. But um, I really think that you're going to have a good April and a, a just a very good, fresh, exciting electric start to this year. Um, so yeah, I hope this I hope this tracks. If you liked this reading, um, please subscribe, please share, please comment, do whatever you can. But um, I just want to thank you for being here and I will see you again. Thank you. Goodbye.
Montero. Thank you so much for being here and for letting me read for you. First, I'm going to ask you to subscribe if you haven't. Um, you can always unsubscribe if you don't like it, but I am really eager to see um, some subscriptions, comments, shares, anything like that. So if you're open to it, please do. Um, but okay, this is your reading for, um, well, oh my goodness. April's love messages and predictions. So we're going to talk about um, what's in store for you for April and if there's like love or relationship or connection, whatever's on the horizon, um, we're going to find out. So Rhodonite, and I always love this card. I feel like I would incorporate it in every reading, but I have to like break them up. Um, okay, so I am going to start this reading by doing three tarot cards just to kind of get um, I just want to know where you're at right now. What, um, kind of like what's, or yeah, what's, what like, oh my goodness. I am so sorry. <laughs> Cannot talk. I'm going to get three cards to figure out what's in store for you for April. So not necessarily where you're at right now, but what's, what's coming up in April. Okay, here we go. So we've got justice, justice, justice. Um, the devil, okay, and ace of cups. Okay, so very, very interesting. Um, the devil card I actually like, so we're definitely not going to trip on the devil. Um, justice is a, I don't know, justice is always a funny card to me. It's like, justice to me is like, it's this fairness. It's this cause and effect. It's almost like... There's a few cards that make me think of karma, but I would say, I th okay, okay, and then I see the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups to me is very much this card of, of love, of intimacy. It can be this like just all around good omen of love and potential and everything that has to do with love. There's so much here with the Ace of Cups, but with the Devil and Justice, it makes me think that in April, something's going to come to a head. Um, this is a very positive, I'm glad we ended with the Ace of Cups in this lineup because I basically think where we're going with this is someone who did something wrong or wronged someone in a romantic way um, regarding a relationship or commitment or trust or something, someone did something bad and it's going to come to a head. They're going, this is going to be revealed or it's going to be... Um, brought to light, someone's going to call the other person out, whatever it is, like it's, it's something's going to come to a head, let's say in April. Um, but then I've got this positive card to tell me like there's potential there, there's love there, there's intimacy, there's connection, there's everything you would want from a relationship in this like very last little piece here. So I don't know if the message is that maybe right now or just recently, something very nasty and ugly has emerged um, in regards to a relationship or a connection you're in and you're actually going to get relief from this and you're gonna get this like new kind of fresh start. You're gonna meet someone that you adore. Um, maybe this this here is a pain that you've had for a while and you're you're finally ready to shed it. You've been dealing with it, you've been wronged, you've, you know, and now you've got love coming to you in April. But I guess that's really how I have to read it. And maybe when I stumbled over my words so much in the beginning of this reading, like I couldn't figure out if it's where you are now, where you're going, like I really couldn't find the words and maybe having it come over, maybe that is it. It's where you've been. You've dealt with like this probably fairly shitty person that you've been in some way engaged in some kind of dynamic with and they, you know, they broke your trust. They probably did things that, was very unpleasant and caused you pain, just like a devil would do. Um, and now as a result, not as a result of it, but now lucky you or however you want to look at it, um, coming up in April, you're actually going to encounter some kind of like fresh start, um, in a very like kind of loved up romantic way or in some way that for you makes you happy and inspires you and brings out this like sense of, I don't know, intimacy and romance. So this to me is like a very much like new potential love card. Um, and I do, I think that when I stumbled, I couldn't quite get it right because it's a little bit of everything. You've dealt with a lot, but I think that's behind you. And coming up, we've got a very fresh start for April. Um, 
yeah, that's, it's not that I just want to read it this way. It's actually how I'm reading it. I don't know how else I would read it. So of course, let me know if this does track in any way. You probably don't know about what's coming up because technically it's not April yet, but it doesn't mean this can happen tomorrow or the end of April or March or pardon me, May. But, um, you know, I, I hope it happens for you sooner than later. I hope you, you meet someone or you see something pretty awesome in April. Um, so I'm going to do these kind of like personality cards or these personality oracle cards. I want to know kind of like the funk or the vibe you've been in. Like what have you embodied and what are you moving into? And like what's this kind of fresh energy that you're going to step into in April? But this is where you've been and this wood track. This is... Um, well, bushfires and fury. This is rage. This is wanting to flee. This is being angry. This is fury. This is chaos. Like, um, if this was your situation here, then yeah, this absolutely tracks. This is not an energy or a state anyone wants to reside in. It is very much like you can't wait to pull the next card so you can get out of this, this madness. Cause bushfires are crazy. Um, they're essential. I'm, I guess it's, I'm glad that everything came to this fiery head because it's revealed a lot I'm sure and now you can move on with someone else and someone better when the time's right when you want that but um yeah this is a a card of a um yeah you just you want to get out of this zone and you're fr you've fled this situation um and it's funny because yeah and just with the devil which you know you do think of this fiery inferno and it's kind of this card almost speaks to that um, so yeah, let me get wh what your vibe for April coming up is. Oh, and this is really, this is really funny or, or sweet or, um, I don't know when something is like a prediction because I don't know. Um, but this card to kind of highlight who you're going to be moving forward in, in April, it's rain and fecundity, which is like production it's things happening it's new growth it's this abundance of life but it's rain and the rain puts out the fires and the rain is the water like here you are with this loved up romantic sense you're confident you've got this flower growing in your womb like you are just there's you're stepping into a very positive um time of growth and just yeah, just new life and new growth, new you, new excitement. There's so much about this that I really, really like. And um, I think it's exciting. I think you are very much, you're changing, you're evolving, and your situation has completely changed. And as a result, it's changed you. You are no longer this furious, you know, manic person who's trying to just figure things out and find the truth in situations and like you don't have to be a detective anymore and you don't have to deal with some like shit for brains partner or whatever this person was in your life um things are gonna look up and you know this ace of cups like obviously eventually you're gonna meet someone that you're crazy about that's a given but maybe I mean this is so cheesy but maybe this person is you right maybe you just fall in love with yourself again maybe you fall in love with your friends maybe you find like a passion or a hobby that just makes you feel completely lit up um, that's a possibility too I mean if you just got out of this relationship it, it you're probably not looking to meet someone like the next love of your life so quickly so I would take this as just a very positive omen that like love will love in the way that you want it. This intimate connection, this romantic, real connection. It's definitely out there. It may not be there in April because that would probably be too soon if you just exited this. Um, but if you didn't just exit this and you've been dealing with this bullshit long enough and you're like, I am so ready, then yeah, I would see this as like a very clear token of April's going to bring something. But either way, you're in such a sweet spot. You're feeling so good. You've got this rain, this water. And there is, there's something about this, like, I mean, this is weird, but like, if I had to taste this card, it tastes sweet, you know, like it tastes like, like ice cream or like something like, um, like a really nice hard candy. Like there's just this, there's just such a luscious card. Um, whereas this, you're just like, oh my God, there's something sour and like accurate about it. You're just, you, you don't want anything to do with this card. So you're in such a sweet spot. Um, I want to get a little bit more about you in April. What are we what are some words from spirit? What do we have to look forward to? What's kind of your vibe? Um, so we've got five of cups and we've got 10 of cups. So more water, more love, more romance, more intimacy. And again, this can be, 
you just loving yourself, you taking care of yourself, you treating yourself. But I, I will say the five of cups is, um, it is a little bit about loss. And I think what I got from this is this wasn't so far away that you're like going to completely do a 180 from it. Even if this love comes into your life and all this happiness and abundance that could ever relate to this dream connection and partnership, which is kind of the 10 of cups card, you're still, you're not, it's not, this isn't, this is still with you. It's still there. There's still a little bit of a loss that you're feeling. I wouldn't say you're like heavy into it. I don't know. I don't think you cry every night. I think you're really, really genuinely ready to move on, but it's still with you. You're not a hundred percent over whether it's this person or this situation or what you went through, it's still there. And I do think that like, this is probably a warning that if this is still so fresh, um, you do need to work with it a little bit more because you don't want to take that feeling of like, um, just loss or need or lack into your next relationship. So you are, you're still feeling this, but you're, it's what it's, it's the process. It's what it happens. It's how it's supposed to be for you. It's fine. If your heart hurts a little bit, um, it's fine. If you have a little mark on your heart forever from this, like it will heal. You are, um, you know, it's a part of you now, but you're definitely, you're healing, you're moving forward and, um, it's all right. You've, you've got, um, you've got a lot more coming because right here we've got 10 of cups and this is like for what we're talking about. It's one of the best cards that could come up. It's just everything. It's just, I mean, some people call this the marriage card. It's like the card of everything you want basically happening. Um, and this tells me that you know, in April, this is a lot to happen in April. <laughs> I don't think you're getting married in April, but I do think something is going to happen to you in April, whether it's a person, an event, something's going to make you so happy that you're going to be like, holy shit, I haven't felt this happy in a very long time. Or, oh, I didn't think I'd feel this happy. And maybe it'll be like, maybe you'll meet someone that'll make you feel that way. And it'll be this like moment of like, oh my God, I've I'm over it. Like I'm finally past this other person. I met someone else and I felt this from it. Um, it doesn't mean you're going to jump right into this crazy relationship. I just think you're going to be shown a situation, a person and an event, whatever it is, it's going to make you feel very, very, very good. And it's going to have nothing to do with your past. Um, which I think is very nice. And this is, it's that growth in you. It's that new phase, new everything. Um, just, I know I could say the word growth a hundred more times. I've, I've definitely said it enough, but, um, the hot fires are, are done and it's just now this, this cool freshness, um, much like spring. I mean, it's, this also is like a card to kind of embody spring and I, I love it. There's just so much fresh beauty in this card. Um, okay, let's get, I've got these, um, chakra Oracle cards that, I mean, I say this, I'll stop saying it because I've said it on every reading that I'm probably using them wrong and I am learning about chakras. So it's a fun thing for me to do. Um, but there's a very good chance, you know, a lot more about chakras than I do. So bear with me, <laughs> um, as I read, you know, 10 minutes a night about them. Um, okay. So I'm going to get two chakras about this cards. Like this is what you're, you're stepping into. This is what you're really, really going to have under control, um, coming up and it means you're probably there now as well, but this is really like good for you. You have this to look forward to. And for magic, this is like that purple. Um, this would be that third eye chakra. And when I see this, I think like you're just, you're in tune with yourself. You're, and it's funny, you know, we've got the eye there and we've got this circle and I love when cards kind of read these like, um, linear, whatever, like patterns. And I do, I feel like you've, you've had insight you've, and somehow this experience, even though it was hard, I think it's, it's made you more connected. It's, it's made you look at things differently. It's probably just the fact, again, if you're here for a tarot reading, I don't know if you were into tarot before all of this, but maybe this brought you to like other realms of like connecting with spirit. And maybe you're into like learning about your aura and other people's auras or whatever it is. I think you're tapping into a lot more of that mysticism, um, third eye energy, but this is also, it's that goodness. It's that like very pure, clean, taking care of yourself, taking care of others, and just making yourself the 
best version of yourself that you can be um, so that I think you have a positive effect on everyone around you. And you are, you're really starting to embody this. You can feel it because you're just happier. You'd be buzzing at this different frequency, which is super like lame to say, but it's absolutely true. You probably are on a completely different frequency than you were before. Like things are really working for you um, and you can feel it. And your friends, your family, whoever, your animals, whoever spends the most time around you can also feel it. So good for you. You've, you've got this going for you. Um, and one more thing that you're stepping into and mastering. This isn't what's coming. This is what you're really doing. Um, um, this is isolation and there really isn't a color here, but I think you're you're probably more okay being alone than you've ever been. I think whatever you've been through, it's taught you like you don't need that. You don't need someone right now or, you know, you can really want someone and maybe you do need someone ultimately. Maybe you want to have a family. Maybe you really want to be married or whatever it is. Um, but you don't like, you don't need it in the way that it has to happen yesterday and you have to pursue it with such like ferocity that you would, Anyway, you know where I'm going with this. You just have this new strength about you where being alone, being isolated, having things probably not work out the way you had planned is really okay. And to that point with this gray card, I feel like, you know, the term like being in like this gray area, you're, I think you're just a lot more okay with a gray area, which is to me, it's a time of like, it's not really exciting when things are in the gray. It's just this, you're kind of in limbo, but you're okay with that. And that's another reason why maybe I couldn't really pinpoint, like, I don't know if you're going to meet someone that you're falling in love with this month. I don't, or if you're just going to fall in love with you or other ideas. I just, I feel like whatever it is, you don't, you're not saying, oh, I've got to meet someone in April. But I do think it's important to you that you become even happier and like more evolved and more, um, conscious and conscientious and whatever. Like you just become this better, happier person. And I really think April is bringing that. And I can't exactly pinpoint in what way or what kind of amazing thing is going to happen to you in April to make you feel so good. But it is that, that is, that is in the cards. Um, it's just more of this, it's kind of like this, <laughs> It's a little more gray. I can't quite pinpoint it, but I definitely see what's happened and I see where you're going and it's very, very positive and very good. So I hope it excites you. I hope um, I'm basically wrapping the reading up because I, I think we have a pretty good read on things, but I'm excited for you. Um, I'm very happy for you for one because whatever you've gone through here, I think I can speak for myself. I've been through something very similar. Other people have and um or almost everyone has, and it's very nice to feel like you're coming out of it. And I also got that feeling of being like, I'm 92% over someone, but I still feel the pain, like it's still there. So this, you know, this lingering, like um, heart-related pain could be with you for the rest of the year, but honestly, you are 99% over this person or moved on. So I don't think there's any any chance of you going back to it or you ever going back to any of this energy. You're in this very new, happy, positive space and you will get better every day or week. You can't really tell by the day, but um, anyway, things are good for you. And yeah, you probably, who knows, you might get into like some kind of psychic energy. You might start like working on like, um, like vision quests and spirit animals and this kind of thing. And I mean, there's so much out there that it, once you start Googling probably ways to get in touch with your third eye, you, your mind would probably be blown. So, um, okay. I'm very happy and excited. Thank you so much. Um, like subscribe, do whatever you can. And, um, I hope to see you again. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bontero. Thank you so much for being here, for letting me read for you. Um, I'm going to ask you to subscribe if you haven't, if you don't like the reading, you can get rid of that subscription, but, um, just in case you do like it and you forget to subscribe, you can just subscribe now and get that over with. So, um, if you would, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. But either way, thank you so much for being here. This is a reading. Um, we are doing April's love messages and predictions. So what's in store April and probably a little bit of like spring in general, but, um, yes, we're getting into April and aquamarine I just I love this card it looks like I don't know like soap or glass or something like so fresh cut like I just want to look so smooth um there's something very pleasing about that card 
Okay, so I'm gonna do this like I did the two readings before, which were really interesting and just actually a lot of fun. So I'm gonna get a vibe on what's coming up for you in April, like what's happening in April? What do we have to look forward to? Um, and we've got the Fool, and we've got the Movement of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands, so just a little bit of everything. Um, Okay, so I actually see for you in April, I see adventure. I see a little bit of change, but I definitely see adventure. Um, I think you'll be, I don't know, traveling. And by adventure, I feel like you're going to be quite literally moving. And the movement of pentacles really in this deck just represents um, the knight of pentacles. But it is which is interesting because the Knight of Pentacles is actually very like secure and solid and not exactly moving. <laughs> it's one of the only um, knights of the four knights that isn't actually in motion. But I still got this sense that like you are doing something. Something is shifting. Something is happening in April. Um, and I do, the, um, the Ten of Wands to me is this sense of like... Um, it's a little bit of burden as we see this camel way down, but it's also like, it's a burden that you, you kind of asked for it. You wanted it. You made something, you asked for this. So it could be like, yes, you're deep into your business. You're, you planned a trip and now you actually have to take it. Like, I don't know what it is, but something to me, there's this excitement that's coming up for you. Um, and you're with this excitement though. I do think it's going to have a little bit of, yeah, the adventure, but also a little weight to it. Like you're going to have to kind of muddle through it at times. Um, and I don't know, it, this com com uh, could completely be the energy of like a new job. Like, yes, you asked for this new job. You accepted it. You knew what you were in for. And oh my gosh, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be so taxing. Um, you're not going to know what to do, but it's that kind of thing. Or maybe you're in a new relationship and like, it's just, it's a lot. It's fun. It's exciting, but it's a lot. I don't know, but there's something, um, but it's positive. There's just, it's, it's positive to me. Um, okay. Let me get, um, cause, yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit more. The, the full card to me is like, it's also a fresh start. It's this kind of like this leap of faith, this sense of like, you're just, you're exploring. Um, and it's a lot to do with like your mind. I think you're also like taking your mind to different places. You're thinking about things differently. It's like you're experimenting with something. Maybe you're trying something out. Um, less, this is a card of physicality down here. Like there is definitely a burden that feels almost physically exhausting. Um, like, and that makes me think you're taxed, but I feel like your mind is kind of going through this like fun, fresh excitement. There's just a very like, um, yeah, there's just, there's change. There's a lot of change happening with you. Um, and then the movement of pentacles, I do think you are starting something. I think it's something with work. I think, yeah, I get a lot of, uh, I just get a lot of change with work, but in a good and exciting way, but also there's a little weight to it. Um, okay. I'm going to hold off on these cards. I meant to pick these cards up. So, but I, so far I'm not seeing anything about love or relationships here, but we can absolutely get there. But, um, definitely something to do with work, travel, your home, something is going to be kind of shook up a little bit. Um, I want to get where you are right now and, or where you've kind of this personality you've been embodying and then like what you're really going to step into in April. So right now we've got marine life and then we're going to go, you're going to go into, um, expansion North, which is interesting. Marine life is to me, it's, it's richness, it's abundance. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you're like super connected to the sea, but the, the message behind the marine life is like, there's so much that we just haven't seen in the ocean. There's so much there. There's so much depth. There's so much complexity. There's a whole new world. There's, I don't know how many, there's whatever, hundreds and thousands of creatures we have yet to I, I apply a name to or whatever. There's, I'm doing a horrible job of regurgitating the blurb on the card, but there's a richness. And I think you glimpsed something that made you want this 
something new. Something was shown to you. You realized something, you read something, you learned something in the past. And by the past, I mean the winter, the holidays last year, recently, where you were like, I need more. I want more. I am going to jump off this cliff and I'm going to get as much it just everything new, everything exciting. But yeah, you were definitely shown something and it, maybe you saw that you could be making so much more money. Maybe you saw that you have this talent or ability that you truly can um, capitalize on and you just started fresh. You did something new, but I definitely think you have, you wanted a lot more and um, you went after it. I think you're, you're pursuing something and the movement of pentacles can absolutely back that up. That is that, that new, like that, um, that going after something basically and, and, but doing it in a way that is actually balanced and methodical. It's not rushing in. It's very much like you've been, you know, exactly what you want and you have your eye on the prize and you, you aren't rushing into it, but you're absolutely going after it. Um, and then there is a bit of a, a more of a physical burden, um, that's taking place as a result of this. So yeah, I, I get a lot of like, work, life, adventure, there's a lot happening and coming up for you. North is expansion. Um, and you are, you're going to be truly branching out, truly expanding. There's, and with North, um, when we think of like exploring the North, it's kind of this unknown area. Like there's this, you know, when you think of the North, you think of like this cold, dark Northern light, um, vastness, right? Like just something very, not necessarily bleak or dark in like a depressing way, but just this unknown. Um, days are shorter, nights are longer, um, but there is a lot of beauty there. But it is it is just something, it's, it's a little unknown, but it is an expansion. It is a great, big, wide expanse. And you are, somehow you're exploring it. So I... I think you're in a very, very good place. I see a lot of, ex I can feel that there's a lot of excitement here that you're doing exactly what you want to do. You've set this up, you're doing it, you are going after it. And even your aquamarine card, it's like something about this even feels like money. Like there is, I think you're probably going to be coming into a very successful year. Um, this might be your year to really just start, start making that money. Um, however, I just realized the topic of this is April's love messages and predictions. So I don't know. I haven't gotten anything about love or relationships yet, which I think is fine. Cause I think this is so, I think you're so busy, um, and so exhausted, but in that really like fulfilled kind of way, I don't know. I don't have anything here to say like what's happening from, um, a relationship, um, exciting standpoint in April, but let me get a couple more cards about what April looks like for you. And so we've got 10 of pentacles, which um, backs up everything we see here. This is like the col the pinnacle of the pentacles, um, the culmination of the pentacles. This is like everything from your wealth, your home, your work, everything comes together. This is a great card. This is, you know, the elephant in this card is celebrating. He's, it's just, it is a card of like, oh my gosh, everything you want is here. You can rest, you can relax. You've got your family here. The gang's all here. Things are good. Um, so it is a very, it's just, it's, it's a nice omen to know like things are, are working out for you. And if it is work or money that you're working so hard to get attain right now, it's absolutely coming. Um, and three of cups, we can definitely look at this as a friendship card. Um, I don't see a tremendous love romance off the three of cups, but I do think that maybe, I mean, if I really had to look into this and there's the possibility, maybe you do have like a close group of friends that you've been spending a lot of time with because let's say you're so busy, you don't have the bandwidth for like a hundred friends right now. So maybe there's two or three that you're really focusing on. Um, and I would say that, well, actually this could be true. One of those friends might introduce you to someone. If I really were to talk about like a love prediction for April, I think one of the people that's in your circle right now that you've been working with through this, this, exciting change or adventure, um, might introduce you to someone or one of those people could be, um, a possible connection for you, someone that you, but I think you would know it. I think you would already feel like, Oh yeah, I, I, I don't know this new colleague or something. And I, I, not that 
I don't know, not that anyone's encouraged to date their colleagues, but like whatever it is, there's something that you, there's someone you've been working closely with who I think could really be a connection for you, or they are going to introduce you to someone. So that is what I see in that regard. A lot of good things for you about work, success, um, and just literally all your hard work paying off. Um, I'm going to get, because there isn't, I want three more cards about what to look forward to, what you can look forward to in April. So let's do that. So we've got the magician, which is like right after the fool, which is very interesting because that I think would be an absolute good omen of like, okay, you know, you took the risk, you took the jump, you did it. And now you're like literally spinning magic with what you've done. Like you've got all the tools in front of you. You like literally everything's at your fingertips. You can do whatever you want. You've, you're, you're, I really think this has to do with like some line of work or something new that you're starting. And this to me is such a nice card to see like in succession with the full, like things are absolutely clicking for you. There's a power you are. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know. Things are good. Okay. And then we've got the sage, which is, um, oh my goodness. It's not the emperor. Help me out here. Who's the sage? It's the hierophant. Um, so this is, okay, let's, we've got, this is another major card. I'm going to lose it. It's not seven of cups. Okay. So coming up for you is yes. Everyone is like anything you want. It's at your disposal. You can just spin magic. You can spin it with your words. You can tell an amazing story. You can, I don't know if you are telling stories because this is associated with the throat chakra, which means there's something in like you're speaking that is like really working for you. So I don't know if you write, if you speak, if you do something, let's say on YouTube, but like, I really feel that you are doing something incredible. Um, that's paying off incredibly. Let's put it that way. Um, and then for the stage, I just, I guess I would say, I think you're going about things, right? I think you are taking in advice. I think you are allowing yourself to be guided. I think you're doing this like in a way that, um, and this is another throat chakra card, which is interesting. Um, like maybe you are allowing, you're really hearing people out. Um, or, or you're doing something where you're sharing a message, like you're this cult leader or something. You're sharing a message. You're talking, you're speaking, you're counseling, you're directing, you're doing something that's really helping people. Um, I, I yeah, whatever it is, but it's paying off and you enjoy it. And I think it's bringing you a lot of, um, a lot of everything, a lot of expansion, a lot of growth, a lot of like monetary gain. I think it's, but there is something with like the throat chakra and with speaking and with communicating in that way that I think you're really, um, stepping into and just profiting off of in a great way. And then seven of cups. I do like this. There's, this is, there's a little more whimsy here. I kind of think of the fool when I see this, it's this like, <sighs> it's kind of like head in the clouds. It can be a little bit of things looking too good to be true, but not really actually. Um, in this context, I think it's like dreams, fantasies. I think you want a lot of things right now. And I think you're, it's like, right now. I think everything is going so good for you. Let's put it that way. And we know it can't, things are going to, things are always going to happen. One thing might fall off. One in 10 things might fall off, whatever. Like not everything is going to work out exactly as planned, but it almost doesn't matter because you're very, very happy right now. I think that you're just in a very good place. I don't even know if love or relationships is even on your mind that much. I don't think you're tripping on this aspect of things. Um, you might get excited if you think that someone might introduce you to someone that could turn into this amazing connection or, you know, partnership but, um, it's not something that you're going to like hope and pray for every night. I just think you're really doing you and you're on kind of a different path. Your, your focus is a little bit away from love and relationships, but I really think you're being just, yeah, like lit up by things that are, um, uh, yeah, just outside of the, the realm of relationships. And I think this is healthy and it's good and it's exciting and it's exhausting you in ways that like it's just, it's just a different kind of excitement and exhaustion. So good for you. This is, this is fun. And you're clearly working hard. You're clearly listening. You're taking advice. You're doing things like methodically, you're doing things right. Um, to this point, I would also say like, you're, you're, I just feel like you, whatever you're doing, it's honest, it's fair, it's good. It's intentional. Like you're really just doing, um, 
you're making yourself proud. You're making your friends and family and yourself proud. I really, really get that message. Um, and yeah, and I mean, with this card, ever so slight, maybe word of warning, like if things do, if one thing drops off, don't worry about it. Don't let it, you know, derail or bum you out. It's going to be fine because not everything can be perfect forever, but, um, but you are, but things are great and you've worked hard for it. Um, okay. I want to get two chakra cards to say like coming up in April where, what you're really going to excel at and what, um, from a chakra kind of energy standpoint, what, what you're really developing. Um, and so we've got passion and I'm going to get back to that in a second. And then we've got balance and this is your heart. So your passion is then like red root chakra. Let's say this is like your kind of your, your stability and your passion. I don't necessarily get this in like a, like physical romantic passion. I get it more of like this fire within you, right? Like that wands, that fire, that, or that earth, like, you know what you want, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to go after it. You are just ignited by something. And I do, I think something you were shown something and it just, I mean, I've said it lit you up, but like it, like this, this spark went off on you where you're like, I can never not see this. I can never not know that this is here or I can never not want this after I've caught a glimpse of it. And I do think it sent you into this kind of almost like whimsical, like energy where you're like, I'm just going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go after it. Like, fuck it. I'm doing it. And then you, you might've started off a little hasty, but you were so passionate. You were so excited and, um, I think that you are doing things quite right now. Um, but yeah, moving into April, you are, you're very aware of what you want. You're very, I do think there's this, this balance to you. Um, in other words, like, I don't think you're wishy-washy. Like, should I have done that? Do I want this? Where's my life going? Where am I headed? I think you're very much like, um, your root chakra is intact. It's spinning wildly, I think, which it's supposed to do. Things are good. This is a great, solid energy. And you know, this is the base of it all. So if you've got this going for you, um, you can build off of this a million different ways. So good for you. Um, okay. And uh, balance, this is your heart, which the green is the heart chakra. And I would say the thing that I think is interesting about this is um, I didn't get a lot of love off this reading. And I think in regards to your heart, I think you're in a very good place. I think you're balancing what you want, like what's going to feed your soul, what's going to make you happy, what's going to make you feel connected, whatever you want from the heart, that sense of connection and happiness and love, you can get that and give it through uh, an avenue outside of that of a relationship, which I'm not saying it's going to be like that forever because that might not sound exciting to someone who actually would like to meet someone or be in a relationship. So don't look at it like that. I just mean that like this is you're so happy and you feel so complete right now that you don't, you're probably even surprising yourself. You're not even tripping off the fact that like you aren't with someone or you're maybe not, you know, or maybe you're just like hooking up with someone, but you're not even tripping on it. You don't need, you're, you've got so much going on that is so much more important to you right now that, um, you are very much in balance, even though I made it seem like you would be out of balance, like you'd be lacking the relationship piece, which in some ways you may be, but I don't, it doesn't matter. Your heart's balanced. And I, I think this is, um, this is a really nice one. I don't get the green, the green for me rarely, rarely comes up. And I think because if I'm going to say that I believe these cards are pulled for a reason by spirit, I would say a lot of people struggle with having a balanced heart chakra. And um, if we feel like you're in check right now, then that's great. And um, you should be very happy about that. And you can probably feel it because this is a sense of like, I don't know. And something about the green off the sage here, because the sage is very much that like balanced, connected soul, right? Like they probably don't have any person in their life. They're just so happy to, I don't know, they could feel probably love from like a caterpillar or something. Like they just, so they, it's just a different way of feeling very, very complete and happy. Um, and it'll set you up for being the, you know, the perfect partner to the right person when the time comes, because you will be so balanced. Okay. This is a really positive, like warm, fuzzy, yet also exciting reading that tells me 
that you're going to be pretty successful, um, period. Like, I'll just say you're going to be, you, you're on the road to being very successful. You're doing it. You've done it. And you've probably had to push love and relationships aside to do this, but good for you because you did it. Um, so yeah, enjoy April, enjoy the spring, the whole year, summer, have a good one. And this is a little, if you do think that you came here looking to know that you're going to meet someone, then I see a lot of hope in this three of cups card. So, um, I do think this is here for you if you open your eyes to it or if you want it. Um, but you might, you might not even want it right now. I don't know. Um, but if you do, it's here. Okay. I'm going to end this reading. Thank you so much. If you liked this, please subscribe, share it with a friend, do whatever you want. But, um, thank you, please. I hope to see you again. Goodbye. Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and for letting me read for you. If you are here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm going to ask you to please do so. Um, especially if you like the reading, you don't have to subscribe if you don't like it. Um, but if you, if you get something out of it, please do subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But, um, enough of that. I am going to say again, thank you for being here. We are doing a reading for April's love messages and predictions. So, um, hopefully we get a love message out of this. The last one we did not so much, um, the two before. Absolutely. So we'll see. And this is redocracy. Um, and it's like gold and pink swirly. I, um, yeah, it is. I tend to use my favorite cards over and over again, but I, I do love the doctor seat. So yeah, that's your card. This is your pile. And okay, this is your reading. I want to know what April looks like for you. I'm going to get three tarot cards on what, what's your April look like? Um, okay. Ten of pentacles. So definitely looks like we've got some work, some success, four of swords and the seven of pentacles. Okay. Um, I'm liking the Pentacles cards and I actually like the Swords card as well. Um, I'm going to say you've been working hard, something it, you're just, you're working hard. Um, I think you're probably successful. I think that your work pays off and whatever it is, you're just, you're, you're a hard worker. Um, I, and I, yeah, um, I think you're, I, I don't know if I'm repeating myself, but I do think you're actually successful. And I'm just getting a very strong message of that with the 10 of pentacles. Like you're not here to find out if your job's going well, or if you're going to, you know, be a success. I think you absolutely are. And I think you're always with the seven of pentacles. I think you're someone who is always working, like almost like maybe you are, um, a bit of a workaholic. Maybe you're always just making those investments of time of energy the little tweaks to make things better there's just i get the sense that you're very much a workaholic and the card the four of swords this is a card of rest and this would actually in some ways i could even take this as a warning like in april you are going to have to slow down there's all this work you're doing it's almost like you need to and i don't mean this in a kind of like, like chill out a little bit. You need to take some time for yourself. This is definitely a card to tell me, um, yeah, there's, there's rest needed from you. And I don't think it means it, like, I, yeah, I, whether I don't, I don't know that I'm seeing like a vacation on the forefront from you. I don't necessarily think you have a trip planned or anything like that, but you just need to maybe put a little more time into something else. And we'll get an idea of what this looks like. Um, and by that, but by something else, I don't mean like, you know, you need, I, I, you probably do need to work less, but, um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, sorry. There's, there's a vagueness here that I'm trying to pinpoint because there's, there really isn't anything here yet about love and relationships, um, which is interesting. So, but there is a lot to speak of like how hard you work. And I almost feel like you're just wearing yourself down. Um, mentally, maybe physically, but definitely mentally. Um, it's like, you're just kind of exhausted. I don't even know that you know what you want, or I don't even know that you really want a relationship right now because I feel like you're just your head spinning. Um, but yeah, you need to quiet that. You need to take a little like time for yourself and check out. I'm going to get a card about like kind of the energy you've been embodying, like your personality, and then what you're really going to step into in April. Um, so let's see if we get a piece of you. So so East is beginnings. Um, and for me, like with the 10 of pentacles, this does make me think like you've been, 
you've been starting something, you've been working hard, you've been doing something that is, however hard you're working at work, it's like, um, I don't know, like new projects, new ventures, new, just, but it's been very, very taxing for you. Like there's maybe like every day is unknown and every day requires like this new thing from you that you just, um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like you've been taxed and there's been a lot happening and, um, let's see what you're going to be able to step into. So the biome is connection. And I guess what I can say from this is like, all this hard work you're putting into like this exploration, this figuring things out, this making something from nothing kind of thing. I actually think that you're going, it's kind of going to come full circle and it's all going to come together and kind of, um, it's really going to culminate, culminate, um, in April. So whatever dots need to be connected, whatever you've been working on and it's been like maybe segmented, it's really going to be this like complete, process, this complete project, things are really going to start clicking for you in April. I think this is going to bring tremendous peace of mind. I think you're going to feel like you can be yourself again. Um, it's going to give you time, space, energy, just, yeah, I, I think you've been on this. I, I almost, I don't know if your work's had you traveling a ton, but whatever it is, you, it's been really, really, um, hard on you, but I don't think it's hard on you in a way that you don't like it. I just think it's just now starting to catch up with you. And, um, yeah, so let's get into a little bit more about what, um, what's happening for you in April, kind of what is your April look like in two cards and maybe we can get love here so we've got nine of cups which is a, a great card actually this is fulfillment this can be called the wish card um, i really like this i'll talk about that a little bit more and then we've got six of swords which is also a good card i'm gonna say that coming up for you in april this is very much like the whatever you want it's gonna happen in april and by that i mean there's something you've been thinking about something you've been meditating on something like some place your mind goes to at night where you're like i want this to happen i hope all this hard work pays off and i get this or and i really think that you're going to see this in the nine of cups and also the nine of cups does have quite a bit of a um well there can be a material aspect to this so i i can definitely see you wanting to feel happy through something that has to do with like, um, like a tangible, um, maybe less of a relationship wish and more of like, I just want my business to succeed. I just want this to take off, but this really is a good omen. Like, yeah, I think, I think what you want is coming to you in April. I just don't know that it's love and relationships. And if you're here and you wanted a prediction for love and relationships, I'm going to say maybe what you really want is rest, peace of mind, and to have this business or adventure or something like actually culminate for you. And I, I see that happening. Um, yeah, I, and the six of swords, uh, this could be a card to tell me that you, if, if you did want to check out and travel, if you did want to go to a new place, it's, it's for the better. This is something like, it's very much a like, you know, you're kind of sailing into a rainbow kind of vibe. It's this smooth sailing ahead. You're leaving, you're leaving whatever, not necessarily chaos, but like whatever conflict or whatever wasn't working for you before, you're leaving that behind. Um, and for you, I don't think you're leaving a job or anything like that or a relationship necessarily, but there's something like you're going to have a different mindset. You're going to be, or you're going to have more freedom, more, more space, more time, more energy, like something that wasn't serving you is going to be left behind and you're going to be much better off for it. Um, yeah, but not a whole lot here about love. Very positive in a lot of ways for your work. But I do see that if I really had to say what I see in these cards, I would say you're a workaholic. You're kind of running yourself ragged with work. Um, you definitely know what you want and you're going after it. And you probably know that April is the month where things are like you should finally see results or you should finally yeah, get the results you've been searching for, for all this time and energy and hard work. Um, and I do, I see that happening and I see, um, yeah, I, I see things just really coming together. So I'm going to get three more cards about what you can look forward to in April. So even if a bad card comes up, we're going to find a good meaning for it. Cause this is truly, and there are no bad cards, but, um, sometimes things can look heavier than they, 
then you want them to. Um, this is um, what's, oh my gosh, what you can look forward to in April. So we've got the star, that's lovely, right? We've got the tower, and we, oh my goodness, all these major cards, this is wild. Um, okay, so coming up for you in April, again, the star, this is, I mean, it could be as cliche as, you know, wish is coming true, but I think it's like, to me, it's like this direction, this guidance, you are on the right path. You are being steered in the right direction. You are doing the right thing. Like things are, you know, not only are they clicking, but they're happening exactly as they're supposed to. Like, so good for you. Things are working out and you are you're doing things right. You're doing things. You're good. You've got the guidance you need. You've been listening to whatever kind of like spiritual guidance or insight. It just, it just shows me like the universe is basically showing you a path and it's showing you that you can have whatever you want and things are starting to really happen. Um, the tower, which I always like the tower, it's kind of this like crash and burn card, but to me, this is like, it's fresh starts, whatever you want to leave behind, whatever like fat you want to trim, whatever you want to get out of your life that is maybe the taxing part, um, yeah, you're going to be able to get rid of it. So you are going to get the rest you need because if there is something that needs to be like alleviated or changed, I really think with the tower card that you're going to be able to do that. Um, and maybe it's something you really want. Maybe it's like that one piece that just isn't quite coming together that you really want to whether it's a box you need to check off or something you need to rid yourself of, I just see that happening for you. Um, and then justice is one of those, like, to me, it's kind of a funny card. It's like karmic a little bit. It's cause of an effect. It's you get what you give, but this is probably just a nice word to say, like, look, you've worked your tail off and it's going to pay off. The things that you want are going to pay off. And I would say they're going to pay off in, in a lot of different ways, like not just monetary business success, but maybe like, you know, you've been treating people well and you're going to get treated well. Maybe you didn't jump into a relationship because you knew you couldn't um, give it your all. Like maybe you've put, you know, love and relationships on the back burner, you put them on hold. So now as a result of that, you're going to, um, you know, now that you are going to be ready and you're going to have a little more time and a little more like, just clear everything. Um, now it's your time to get what you want and deserve. And I know that the world doesn't always work like that. That's really a very interesting way of me to interpret the justice card. Cause that in some ways isn't exactly the meaning of it, but I do get that. I get what I give meaning out of it. And, um, I just think it's going to be your time. I think a lot is going to happen for you in April. And I, I, really don't see again love relationships on the board but i see a lot to speak to the fact that like you're going to be in a very good place and you're going to be happy and it's going to make you very open and receptive to whatever comes your way and the six of swords like there is even though you've probably dealt with quite a bit of like change and excitement here you really if you make a decision to tweak something or do something a little differently or take a break or go on vacation or whatever. It's the right decision. And with this, I do feel like you could find something if you wanted that, that something to do with romance, love, whatever it could, I could see the potential for that in this card if you wanted it. But I think it's something you would have to like actively pursue or want. I just don't know that anything like that is falling in your lap right now. And again, I don't know that you really want it to. I think you're focused and directed on something um, a little different right now and that's all right, but I do want to see you rest and, um, I want to see you do you in just the healthiest, best way possible. Okay. So we've got these, um, chakra cards where I turn them over and I kind of tell you what chakra you're like really working and in, in a good way, like what you're really developing. Um, and so for April, these are two cards that I'm going to say, like, you've, you've got this, um, and this, there are no bad cards here. So it doesn't mean you're going to be sad or happy, I guess I have to say that if I just said that about sad. Um, what it means is, okay, so this chakra, like we would say this is maybe like your third eye chakra. It looks like this is kind of that indigo-esque color. Um, this to me tells me like you've managed the sadness, right? Like you have this part of your life 
in check. You aren't getting overly emotional or sad. You're not. And maybe there were things like outside of your control that was bumming you out. Maybe you were like, I don't know. That's what it does make me feel like you were being affected by things that maybe you didn't have any control over or things that like something was bringing you true sadness, um, in a way that made you feel like disconnected maybe in the past, or like you lacked just a little in, like you needed more insight to be happy. I don't know, but like, I just, you've worked on it. And I, I really see that this, um, this would be, and I can't, I don't know a ton about the chakras, but I would say there's something to me about like your throat or your third eye chakra here to tell me like you are, you're doing good and you've conquered sadness. So, um, yeah, you've conquered sadness and maybe you started this crazy work or this venture because you did have a broken heart and you needed to move on from it. And this was your healing process. And you're like, this was how you got spiritual or how you tapped into something else. And it worked like you are, it really worked. Um, and then this to me is very much like your kind of root or your sacral chakra. And this is like, you're happy, you're grounded, you are, you're balanced, you're stable, you're just, you know exactly what you want. And this is really just kind of like a blissful card to tell me that like, you are able to feel happy. You've gotten to this point where you really can be happy. And I think what's interesting about this, because there isn't really much about love on the board, but there are other things here to show like how far you've come and what you've achieved and succeeded and where you're at and how hard you're working. Um, it is nice to see that you are, you know, like you've overcome sadness and you're feeling happy. Like I, I kind of get that. And I get that you are, um, probably a little more spiritually tapped in than you've been in a long time. You're kind of opening up that part of you that just more of an open mind, more connected, more, um, interested, more intrigued by just everything. Um, yeah. And I, I think you're, and I think you know that, um, yeah. And I think you're happy. I think you're very grounded right now. So without repeating a hundred things, I will stop this reading. I will say that I am sorry. I don't have a love message come through. That does not mean that you're not going to get just, you know, gobsmacked by love in April. It absolutely can be there for you, but this is a reaffirmation to say that like, you are on the right path. All you really need to do is rest. And honestly, there is something like I get such a strong message that you need to rest. I will say this, that like, maybe if you do rest and you really are looking for love, maybe in this rest, you're going to find the opportunity to meet someone. Maybe you will go on a little bit of a vacation or find some like respite, respite somewhere in some time off or some way of checking out that will lead you to someone. So maybe a takeaway from all this is like, if you want a love connection in April, find a way to just relax and rest a little bit. And that might be where you meet someone. Um, that's just a little message that came to me in the end, but I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, thank you so much. I, I just, I, bleh, thank you. I hope to read for you again. Goodbye.